Coffee Break German Season 2, Episode 32. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Coffee Break German. Ich bin Marc. Und ich bin Andrea. Wie geht's dir, Andrea? Mir geht's super. Und dir, Marc? Ja, sehr gut. Danke. We're delighted to be back with another episode. This is the second episode in our series of of a, a soap opera to finish off Coffee Break German Season 2. Now, thank you for your, your comments so far. Mm -hmm. You've had lots of positive comments over the past couple of weeks since we released episode 31. And we're delighted that you're enjoying this soap opera and hearing yeah. the German in, in a context, hearing what you've learned already in a context. And we'll be continuing with this today. Mark, was ist eine soap opera auf Deutsch? Oh, das weiß ich nicht. Eine Seifenoper. Really? Just yeah. a, a, a literal translation? Yeah, Eine genau. Seifen Opa. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know. I was trying to think of some some kind of word from another language that I know and putting it into there. But yeah, I like the, the Spanish version, un culebron. Oh, wow, un super. Culebron. Now, I think this has something to do with, it's like saying a big snake. Mm -hmm. Una culebra, a snake. Un culebron is a big snake. Yeah. And I think it's something to do with the storyline snaking in and out. Ah. Uh, the sort of winding paths of a, of a soap opera. Obviously, you can say telenovela as well yes. in, in Spanish. Um, is that word used in German? Yes. Um, we have uh, in recent years had German telenovelas. Okay. And we make a distinction between a siphon opera and a telenovela. Uh, so the siphon opera can go on forever. Right. And whereas the telenovela um, has uh, an end. Ah, okay. Which so is already written. Right, yeah, and I see. So we use uh, die telenovela. We use that. There have been a few programs on German television. Excellent. Well, we've got our own, this would be a telenovela because there is definitely a, well, there's not uh, well, an end we don't such. know. No, we, we don't, don't really know. know. <laughs> well, anyway, let's focus on what's happening today. We're on our second episode and there's going to be a, a, a new character in here called Alex. Mm -hmm. um, and you may well recognise Alex's voice. That's all we'll say for now. Let's get on with the show. Los geht's. Genau, auf geht's. <laughs> This episode begins with Carola, Philip and Miriam in the flat. Also, tschüss, ihr zwei. Ich muss mich beeilen. Meine Vorlesung beginnt in 30 Minuten. Tschüss, Carola. Bis später. Tschüss. Wir sehen uns dann im Café Sonnenhof um halb eins, ja? Klar, bis dann. Trefft ihr euch im Café? Vielleicht komme ich auch. Ich habe heute frei. Du hast es gut. Ich arbeite im Café Sonnenhof. Meine Schicht beginnt um elf. Toll, du hast einen Teilzeitjob. Ich suche auch Arbeit. Letztes Jahr habe ich bei uns im Pub gearbeitet. Du könntest dich im Pub in der Schillerstraße bewerben. Die suchen oft Mitarbeiter, die Englisch sprechen. Ja, gute Idee. Ich gehe gleich mal hin. Hi, kann ich dir helfen? Hallo, ich bin Philipp. Ich suche einen Job als Kellner. Ist etwas frei? Hm, hast du einen Lebenslauf dabei? Ja, klar, hier. Okay, du kommst aus Schottland. Da sprichst du wohl auch fließend Englisch. Ja, genau. Das ist gut. Viele unserer Gäste sprechen kein Deutsch und kommen extra hierher, weil sie Englisch sprechen können. Ja, das hört sich gut an. Ich finde es auch einfacher, Englisch zu sprechen. Du musst natürlich erst mit dem Chef sprechen. Hast du diese Woche mal Zeit für ein Vorstellungsgespräch? Und dann müssten wir einen Termin finden damit wir dir das Kassensystem und so weiter zeigen können. Ja, ich könnte morgen kommen. In der Früh. Geht das? Warte, ich schau mal im Kalender. Ja, morgen um 10 ist der Chef da und hat noch keinen Termin. Ich notiere das gleich mal. Super, danke. Soll ich morgen einfach hierher kommen? Ja, genau. Wenn vorne zu ist, einfach hinten beim Liefereingang klingeln. Alles klar, danke. Dann bis morgen. Tschüss, bis morgen. Okay, so we've now heard our second episode of our soap opera and uh, we have also been introduced to a new character, the character of Alex, played, as I'm sure you have recognised, by Thomas from Coffee Break German Season 1. It's great to have Thomas back with us for this final section of Coffee Break German Season 2 and a nice accent. 
Yes, indeed. We are in Munich with our soap opera mm -hmm. and Thomas has just the right accent, a nice Bavarian accent for a soap opera in Munich. Absolutely. And it's great to hear different accents as we, as we explore the parts of the story. Indeed. Right. Let us think, first of all, what the, the, this episode is about. And I'm going to give you a quick summary in English about the, the story in this episode. We begin with our three friends in the flat and they arrange to meet later in the Café Zonenhof, where Miriam is actually working. Now, this gets Philip thinking he's also looking for a part-time job and he mentions that he's worked in a pub before. Miriam suggests a pub where they're looking for English speakers so he goes off to the pub and that's where he meets Alex, who works there. Philip hands in his CV and he's asked to come along for an interview with the chef, who's not the chef, but the boss, the next day. OK, Andrea, should we go back through the episode and listen to the different sections of, of this episode? Yes, that's a very good idea. We'll split it into four again and we'll listen to a section and then talk about the, the language in that Super. section. Also, tschüss, ihr zwei. Ich muss mich beeilen. Meine Vorlesung beginnt in 30 Minuten. Tschüss, Carola. Bis später. Tschüss. Wir sehen uns dann im Café Sonnenhof um halb eins, ja? Klar, bis dann. Trefft ihr euch im Café? Vielleicht komme ich auch. Ich habe heute frei. Du hast es gut. So, Marc, was ist passiert? Okay, in this first section, um, well, the, the three flatmates are, are talking. Um, I think Carola is heading out to university. Genau. And then she makes an arrangement to see the others, or at least to see Miriam, is it? Yeah, nur Miriam. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they make an arrangement to see Miriam at half one. Bist du sicher, Mark? At half twelve, sorry. Genau. Rookie, rookie mistake. Yeah. <laughs> rookie mistake. Okay, also halb eins yeah. is half an hour to one. Und was macht Philip heute? Um, well, I think he said that he's got a day off. He's free. Ja, genau. Ich habe heute frei. So is he asking to go along? Yes, he wants to join them. To join yeah, them. he is suggesting, um, oh, maybe I could come too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah? So when he says, uh, I'm free today, what does Miriam think about that? Yeah, she thinks he's very lucky. Okay. Uh, let's find out more about why she thinks he's lucky and we'll listen to the next section. Du hast es gut. Ich arbeite im Café Sonnenhof. Meine Schicht beginnt um elf. Toll, du hast einen Teilzeitjob. Ich suche auch Arbeit. Letztes Jahr habe ich bei uns im Pub gearbeitet. Du könntest dich im Pub in der Schillerstraße bewerben. Die suchen oft Mitarbeiter, die Englisch sprechen. Ja, gute Idee. Ich gehe gleich mal hin. Okay, so, does Miriam have a job herself? Ja, genau. So, Miriam works at the Café Sonnenhof. Where they're going to be meeting later. Yes, okay. but she's obviously thinking, wow, Philip has a day off, that's great. I don't, mm -hmm. I have to work at the Café Sonnenhof. Um, but Philip, on the other hand, um, he thinks Miriam is very lucky. Why do you think he, he thinks that? Well, I think he's looking for work. Genau. Did he say, ich suche ja. Arbeit? Genau, ich suche auch Arbeit. I too look for work. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, and Miriam has a suggestion. What does she suggest? Well, I think there's a there's a pub uh, somewhere. Is it Schillerstrasse? Genau. And uh, I think Miriam's suggesting that there, the, there are, they're looking for people that speak English. Is that genau. right? Genau, genau. Okay. Super. Because we've looked at this uh, in the in the previous episode, mm -hmm. that a pub is a place, um, there is a, a cultural yes. vibe in there, and that's why maybe a lot of uh, expats, expats yeah, so go would, to the pub because they can speak English there. Right, so they will go to a kind of English-style pub yeah. uh, because that's where they can speak English yes. and, and order their beers and so on. Genau. Okay, so, well, I guess Philip is going to try that out. He's going to have a look uh, and visit this pub and see if, if that's a possibility for some work. Genau. Okay, so the next section of the conversation takes place in the pub uh, with Alex, the, the person who works in the pub, but we're going to have a listen to that after our break. Wir unterbrechen diese Sendung für eine sehr wichtige Meldung. If you'd like to make faster progress with your German, don't forget that you can use the premium version of this course, which features video versions of the lessons, comprehensive lesson notes and bonus listening materials. 
Also, worauf wartest du? What are you waiting for? If you'd like to take your German to the next level, go to coffeebreakgermanplus.com. Okay, welcome back. We are at the pub today, or at least we're just about to arrive at the pub with Philip, who's going to talk to Alex about the possibility of working in the pub. Let's listen to the, the first half of their conversation. Hi, kann ich dir helfen? Hallo, ich bin Philip. Ich suche einen Job als Kellner. Ist etwas frei? Hm, hast du einen Lebenslauf dabei? Ja, klar, hier. Okay, du kommst aus Schottland. Da sprichst du wohl auch fließend Englisch? Ja, genau. Das ist gut. Viele unserer Gäste sprechen kein Deutsch und kommen extra hierher, weil sie Englisch sprechen können. Ja, das hört sich gut an. Ich finde es auch einfacher, Englisch zu sprechen. Okay, so we're now in the pub. Ja, wir sind im Pub. Und wir hören das Gespräch zwischen Alex und Philipp. Ja, ja we hear the conversation between Alex and Philip. And um, have you noticed something in particular that happens just at the start of this conversation? Well, again, being a little bit obsessed with, with do and see. You know? <laughs> I, again, was a little bit surprised that uh, Alex said, can ich dir helfen and not can ich ihnen helfen? Genau. So what's the situation here? So we can imagine that Alex is also a, a, a young person, mm -hmm. maybe in his 20s. Okay. And uh, Philip is a similar age and it's an informal atmosphere. It's at the pub. Mm -hmm. So it would be totally normal to say, kann ich dir helfen? helfen? Yeah. So if Alex said, kann ich ihnen helfen? Philip might even be a bit offended. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, that makes, makes him a bit older than he is. Okay. But anyway, nice. That's why I like playing Philip. You know, I'm young yes, and cool, yes, obviously. Yes, yes, exactly. But you are, Mark. Type, you, typecast. You yeah, are, perfect. Mark, yeah. <laughs> But obviously, nice day, Tef, yeah. Kann ich dir yeah, helfen? helfen. Uh, ja, du kannst mir helfen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that is very normal, normal conversation, yeah. Okay. So uh, am I right in thinking um, Philip spe specified that he's looking for a job as a waiter? Genau, ein Kellner. Kellner. Ja, okay. ein Kellner ist ein Waiter. Ähm, Barmann, das gibt es auch. Okay. So de, der Barmann, ja. Äh, but maybe there is table service at this uh, pub und Kellner mm. geht immer. Kellner is always a problem. It always yeah. works. Okay, okay. So um, in this section, Alex asked uh, for, for something. He said, has to... Uh, einen Lebenslauf dabei. Yeah, what do you think is a Lebenslauf? Well, um, again, I'm thinking of what it means. So Leben is mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. uh, is it Lebenslauf? So Lauf of the life. Yeah. Lauf is something to do with running. Yes. So it's a it's a summary of your of uh, your life. Uh, so it's your resume. CV. A resume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So have you got your resume and Philip gives that gives that over. So then uh, Alex realizes from uh, Philip's resume or CV that he's from Scotland and assumes that he speaks English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what word does he use to describe um, uh, Philip's command of English? Did he say fließend? Genau, fließend. Was ist fließend? Fließend is, is fluent. Is, is it literally flowing? Yes. 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 So flowing English. Fluent English. Yes, flowing English. That's yeah. what we actually say. Um, and, and can you be fleecent? Um Well, um, I don't know. Can can you be fleecent or do you have to speak fleecent Yes, in, so you have German? to speak fleecent. Yeah. Right. So we don't have this, I am fluent in, ich okay. bin fleecent. Das gibt es nicht. Yeah? Ich spreche fleecent English. Ich spreche fleecent Deutsch. Yeah. Perhaps one day. Yeah. <laughs> And what is the opposite of fließend? Ooh, schlecht. <laughs> <laughs> Nein, wir sagen gebrochen. Gebrochen. Yeah. So broken down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wir sprechen, ich spreche gebrochen Deutsch uh -huh. oder auch ich spreche gebrochenes Deutsch. Why two different types? I don't know. Okay, ich spreche gebrochen oder gebrochenes Deutsch. Yeah. My, my grandmother, who was Italian and who lived in Scotland all most of her life, um, she always talked about her the, the fact that her Italian was broken down. 
She spoke ah, broken good Italian. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I guess the gebrochen und gebrochenes is like the fluent or fluently. So she speaks fluent English. Mm -hmm. She speaks English fluently. fluently. Okay. Okay, that's really useful stuff. Okay, so, and then we hear that Alex thinks it's great that Philip speaks English. Have you have you noticed why? Um, do they get lots of English customers? Yes. So as we said earlier... Or English speaking customers. Yeah, right? as we said earlier, a lot of expats who speak English as their mother tongue um, or as their second language go to pubs because yeah. they can speak English. Okay. Philip is also pleased that he can speak English at his work. Why? Well, I guess he finds it easier. <laughs> yes. So he says, I also find it easier to speak English. Ich finde es auch einfacher, Englisch zu sprechen. Okay. Let's listen to the final section in which Alex explains the, the process that Philip's going to have to go through in terms of, of an application for the job. Du musst natürlich erst mit dem Chef sprechen. Hast du diese Woche mal Zeit für ein Vorstellungsgespräch? Und dann müssten wir einen Termin finden, damit wir dir das Kassensystem und so weiter zeigen können. Ja, ich könnte morgen kommen. In der Früh. Geht das? Warte, ich schau mal im Kalender. Ja, morgen um 10 ist der Chef da und hat noch keinen Termin. Ich notiere das gleich mal. Super, danke. Soll ich morgen einfach hierher kommen? Ja, genau. Wenn vorne zu ist, einfach hinten beim Liefereingang klingeln. Alles klar, danke. Dann bis morgen. Tschüss, bis morgen. Okay, so I'm right in thinking that uh, Alex has said that Philip is going to have to speak to the boss. Genau. The yeah. chef. Yeah, so he has a Vorstellungsgespräch. An interview. That's an interview, a job interview. And uh, he has to sp speak to the chef, the boss. And then in case this is a successful Vorstellungsgespräch, um, they would have to find another appointment to discuss you know, the, the, the till and other okay, processes uh, in the pub. Okay. So um, do they make an arrangement? Yes. Um, have you heard when? I think it's tomorrow morning. Is that right? Exactly. So yeah. in der Früh, Early in der Früh, yeah. in, in the morning, uh, at what time? Um, I, I think it was 10 o'clock. Yes, exactly. Yeah, ja, morgen um 10. And the boss is also there. And he doesn't have a termin yet, a termin. An appointment, an a meeting. An appointment, yeah. yes. Okay. Great. Was there some kind of instruction about coming behind, like coming to the back entrance of the pub or something like that? Yes. And um, so in case the, the front entrance is closed, mm -hmm. uh, Alex tells Philip to come to the back entrance. And very often the back entrance is the delivery mm -hmm. entrance. So der Liefereingang. Uh, another word would be der Lieferanteneingang. So you would see or hear both. Yep. And der Lieferant is the delivery person. Okay. So it's the entrance for the delivery, the delivery person. person. Oder der Liefereingang is the delivery entrance. I understand. Okay, I think what we should do now is listen to the entire conversation again. And this time, hopefully, you'll understand a little more about what's going on. Let's have a listen. Also, tschüss, ihr zwei. Ich muss mich beeilen. Meine Vorlesung beginnt in 30 Minuten. Tschüss, Carola. Bis später. Tschüss. Wir sehen uns dann im Café Sonnenhof um halb eins, ja? Klar, bis dann. Trefft ihr euch im Café? Vielleicht komme ich auch. Ich habe heute frei. Du hast es gut. Ich arbeite im Café Sonnenhof. Meine Schicht beginnt um elf. Toll, du hast einen Teilzeitjob. Ich suche auch Arbeit. Letztes Jahr habe ich bei uns im Pub gearbeitet. Du könntest dich im Pub in der Schillerstraße bewerben. Die suchen oft Mitarbeiter, die Englisch sprechen. Ja, gute Idee. Ich gehe gleich mal hin. Hi. Kann ich dir helfen? Hallo, ich bin Philipp. Ich suche einen Job als Kellner. Ist etwas frei? Hm, hast du einen Lebenslauf dabei? Ja, klar, hier. Okay, du kommst aus Schottland. Da sprichst du wohl auch fließend Englisch? Ja, genau. Das ist gut. Viele unserer Gäste sprechen kein Deutsch und kommen extra hierher, weil sie Englisch sprechen können. Ja, das hört sich gut an. Ich finde es auch einfacher, Englisch zu sprechen. Du musst natürlich erst mit dem Chef sprechen. Hast du diese Woche mal Zeit für ein Vorstellungsgespräch? Und dann müssten wir einen Termin finden, damit wir dir das Kassensystem und so weiter zeigen können. Ja, ich könnte morgen kommen. 
In der Früh. Geht das? Warte, ich schau mal im Kalender. Ja, morgen um 10 ist der Chef da und hat noch keinen Termin. Ich notiere das gleich mal. Super, danke. Soll ich morgen einfach hierher kommen? Ja, genau. Wenn vorne zu ist, einfach hinten beim Liefereingang klingeln. Alles klar, danke. Dann bis morgen. Tschüss, bis morgen. Okay, that's it for this episode of Coffee Break German. As we explained last time, our bonus episode explains everything in detail. We go through the whole text and talk about the language used, any constructions used, and look at new vocabulary and so on. And that's part of our bonus materials. And the bonus materials also include, of course, the lesson notes and the video version of this lesson where you can see all the words on the screen of your device. You can find out all you need to know about all of that at coffeebreakgerman.com. And of course, don't forget that you can follow Coffee Break German on social media. We are Learn German on Twitter and search for Coffee Break German on Facebook for our regular cultural and language challenges. And keep up with all of us here at Coffee Break on Instagram, where we're Coffee Break Languages. The Coffee Break Languages team, yes, we do indeed post regular photos of uh, recording sessions on, on Instagram and uh, all the other stuff that we get up to all the time. So do check us out on Instagram and also check us out on YouTube. If you've not done so yet, make sure you're following us on YouTube and you subscribe to our channel where you can get regular language learning videos and also tips on how to learn languages from the Coffee Break team. For now, that's it. We'll be back next time with a, another episode and a new character. So until then, tschüss. Bis dann. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>